Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we'll be slaying this beautiful wig from start to finish. Now she does come courtesy of Rare Gen Hair and of course I have a link in the description box for you guys to be able to shop this wig and the website in general. She's a 22 inch water wave lace wig and the lace dimension is 13 by 4. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a finesse. Of course it's going to be a beginner friendly start to finish install. But I kind of wanted to make this one a little bit minimal. So you guys know I love a good closure wig because it's simple and easy to put on on a day-to-day -day basis. When I'm busy and I don't have time to spend 20-30 minutes, you know, installing a wig in the mornings. Today you'll learn a quick tip on how to finesse the wig and make it a little bit easier for your day-to-day -day maintenance. So I'm not going to hold you guys. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Um, also, everything that I use to complete this wig is in the description box as well. If you haven't already subscribed, now let's jump right into the video. Jumping right into it, this is the wig straight out of the packaging. As you guys can see, she has a beautiful curl pattern and she's nice and full. This one is a 210% density water wave Remy human hair lace front wig and it has the dimensions 13 by 4 giving you 4 inches of parting space. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace around the ears. You know, it's very important that the wig fits your ear from ear to ear so that it, you know, it hugs you nice and well. This is a step you can do before or after your styling process. I typically will do it before. I'm going to set her as a center part, but I just wanted to show you how beautiful the curl pattern on this one is and just how voluminous it is. It does have a little bit of a custom cut to it, as you guys can see, and I really love how that one just gives it so much life and density and body and volume and everything you need and more. I'm going to use my own product. This comes from bdeckbeauty.com. Coming New Year's, and this is our wax stick. I apply it to the front of the hair and just work it in very well with a dense brush. I'm going to take the wig off and use our electric hot comb to really work that in. This hot comb goes up to 500 degrees, so I did go ahead and take it off my head just to be safe and not burn myself. If you do want to do this step with the wig on your head, just be sure to turn the wig down. I'm sorry, the electric hot comb down to about 450 degrees so that it's hot, but it's not too, 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 too hot. I'm going to do something also that I haven't done in a while, which is apply a lace tint. Instead of buying a specific lace tint, I just used a foundation that is already my shade. I used a foundation brush and just buffed it in. And then I blow dried it on a high heat setting to pretty much dry it so that it doesn't transfer too much onto my skin. Now that we have the wig back on, it is time to cut off all of the excess lace. Now, I want to mention that I did not pluck, tweeze, or customize the hairline at all. When I put the wig on initially, I'm sure you noticed that it did need to be customized just a little bit more if you wanted to have that Instagram baddie look. And I'm pretty much showing you how to make yourself look just as good as the next Instagram baddie without doing any customizations as far as plucking goes. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and take another product from my line. This is our light glueless adhesive. This one here is best applied for your clothes your wigs that you want to be able to apply and melt down on a daily basis but still have access to take them off at night I'm gonna be using it on this wig even though it is a frontal wig I applied it to the center let it get a little bit tacky before adding the lace on top I went ahead and pretty much removed any excess product so that it's not cakey I blow dry on a cool setting until it is completely dry and then I'm going to work on the sides. Now the finesse is I'm going to not bond down the sides at all. I like it as low maintenance as possible and I like the fact that this one pretty much fit my head glueless so I really didn't need much glue at all. So instead of having them sideburns at in the front that need to be pretty much bonded down. I kind of cut around to make sure that the wig fit nice and flat and went behind my ear instead of in front. And that made for a great glueless install on the, on the sides. Now I'm going to add sideburns just to kind of break up the hair. As I mentioned, I'm not tweezing out anything along the hairline, but parting out a little bit of that hairline and turning it into baby hair will help to break it up so that it kind of looks a little bit more 
plucked on tweeds than it actually is. Now for the next step, we're going to take the edge control from bedeckbeauty.com and I'm just going to swoop the baby hairs. I did trim them down a little bit shorter so that they're not too long and I'm going to use an edge brush to kind of swoop those into place. From here, you can use a melt belt or wig band to kind of melt the lace even more. I skipped that step in this setting and I'm also going to add a little bit of sideburns along the side. As I mentioned, the sideburns are glueless, which means they're not bonded down at all, not even with a glueless adhesive. But you're going to see here that I'm going to still finesse and make it look like it's bonded down and look like it's a frontal by adding some baby hair. Now, this one did not have baby hair on the sideburns. I'm literally using hair from the wig. Pulled it forward, used the electric hot comb to kind of press it out to go in the way um, the opposite direction to look like baby hair, trimmed it down shorter and swooped, and here we are. This reminds me of that meme, they're not going to know, they're not going to know, they're definitely not going to know. You cannot tell that this is not bonded down in the front, it looks very, very good. This is what it will look like as a half up, half down, which is going to be the next um, style I'm going to do with this wig because it's so full and dense I think it's going to look beautiful as a half up half down because that ponytail up top won't be too skimpy as I mentioned this is set as a center part so I went ahead and used a precision comb to pretty much make the center part I added a little bit more of that wax stick along the parting using the electric hot comb to work that in and that way the hairline is sitting flat and flush this here is our water bottle. This is a continuous spray bottle that pretty much I like to add water to. You can include water, oil, you can use a conditioner in there with your water. You can do whatever concoction you want. And pretty much I just want to hydrate the ends of the hair to kind of make the water wave texture pop even more. And from here I'm going to add a little bit of mousse to pretty much style the hair and kind of give it a little bit more of a hold. It really didn't have any frizz at all so typically a mousse will kind of cancel out any frizz as well but that wasn't necessarily a problem we had but I do love the way the curls popped with this combination. Baby girl, you're so fine. I can't get you off my mind. Ooh girl, nah, nah. Ooh girl, nah. Okay guys, so we are finished with this look. Now I didn't realize the camera died and I did go ahead and do the powder in the parting. This time around I used the Maybelline powder. And I actually used this in the parting as well as along the hairline. I think it could be a smidge darker but then I kind of at the same time think it was actually perfect want to give you guys some more options for like everything like the powders that I use and all the different um you know ingredients that make this great so as you guys seen this was a beautiful long full curly wig and I was able to take it from like good to great um we did do a little bit of foundation underneath the lace and i wanted to show you guys like how i used to do my lace a lot of the times in still a way that is great and yes the hair is a little bit um damp still and i kind of wanted to flatten it out up top i kind of like to use heat on my curly wigs just to make them look as flat and melted as possible and i just think that goes best with like my face and just my preference in general also, I'm thinking about doing like a half up, half down with this one. It's so full that I know that's going to look super fire. This one is definitely going to be an easy install and low maintenance. You can definitely go ahead and check the description. You can definitely go ahead and check the description box for a link to this wig as well as all the details as far as like the dimensions and all of that. Also in the description box, you can find lists and links of everything I use to complete this look. Also on your way out, don't forget to subscribe and check out more videos for me. I have hundreds, so stick around if you'd like. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays. I'm Ashley B. Deck, if you're tuning in for the first time. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!